So in the last video, we discussed the atomic packing factor. Now we're discussing, um, it's not exactly a crystal parameter, but just an important property to be calculated uh, about like metals and um, crystal structures. It, it is the theoretical, theoretical density. Sounds like a really like nerdy thing to like pull out out of the open, like you know, you're calculating the theoretical density of an object. Um, but what it simply is is that um, it's just like the normal density of a normal object. You know how we normally define density rho, not p rho, like upper L, um, as just like mass over volume. So in our case, what we're doing is we're just like breaking these down and thinking about them in terms of like unit cells. So the way we think about it is that we take, we try to isolate like a unit cell or think about things in terms of unit cells. So what we can say is that we can take the mass as um, the number of atoms in a unit cell times the atomic mass. So this is the weight, this is like the entire mass. But the thing is this, this ends up is uh, in, um, grams yeah so um and then we take the volume of a unit cell and then we have to multiply by avogadro's number so i'll just call this uh here i'll put this as subscript number avogadro's avogadro's number so um you can think of this as just like a conversion factor sort of um between taking like the small units of like cells which is like super tiny and then this is like the mass of like the whole thing um, just just for the units to match up because in materials all the units got to perfectly match up otherwise you're gonna have like a bunch of errors and like people don't like that so n is like the number of atoms right so it's like n number of atoms so n atoms right and then that's multiplied by a and that's your atomic weight right so that's a and then that's going to be grams per mole yeah and th this is the one that you look up in your periodic table so this is this is now going to be like all for you know your chemistry guys out there, um, yeah. So th this is the straight and the main formula. Forgot to mention that. Yeah. So if you want to just skip to the next video, perfectly fine. Um, the volume of a cell, still stay the same. And yeah. So the volume of a cell, um, you want to write this in terms of centimeters, cubic centimeters. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you'll also have, um, yeah, and then NA is going to be like, um, yeah, NA, and that, that's like atoms per, uh, per mole. So the way that you think about it is that things cancel. <laughs> um, here, what we get is that there's atoms, that atoms cancel, so the atoms doesn't matter. Um, as in like the number of matters, but like the units doesn't. Um, and then the number of moles. Um, for those of you who don't know, who don't do chemistry, um, it's a, it's a th it's something that cancels, so you don't have to worry about this stuff. Um, and what you end up with is that the units is going to be just uh, N A over what B cell. Yeah. Um, and then this units is going to be grams per cubic centimeter. Yeah. So that's the units that, that's going to pop out. But you gotta remember that this is in cubic centimeters and not like cubic meters because you know like generally in SI um, you, you think about kilograms and cubic meters, but in our case it's grams and cubic centimeters, so gotta be careful with that. Um, okay, so for like a more concrete example, um, let, let's pick on like a metal, let's pick on like iron. I think I'll probably use gray for that. Gray, yeah, iron. Okay, so um, some properties that you, you need to know. Um, generally for questions and exams, they'll give you properties like such. Uh, so iron at room temperature, it has a BCC structure. Um, its atomic radius is uh, 126 picometers. Generally they'll give you the radius in nanometers, but I'm just picking on picometers just because I googled it. <laughs> um, and uh, the mass, the atomic mass, so if you look it up on like the periodic table, um, you're going to get 55.845. Also, just Google this, grams per mole. 
uh, and um, for uh, your reference, generally they don't give um, that m that many formulas in the formula sheet, but they'll give you all re like important things like this for the question. So no need to worry. Um, yeah, Avogadro's number, we're just going off with 6.022 times 10 to the negative 20. Oh, sorry, not negative, 10 to the 23 atoms. One more. Yeah. Um, so th these are our important uh, numbers to work off. So, um, yeah, let's, let's go off that. So now, um, the number of atoms that we're going to deal with um, for a BCC, um, you should remember that we had two. So back before, um, so we had uh, so each each of these corners was one eighth. Yeah, one eighth. Um, my drawing still isn't great, but yeah. So each of these was one eighth of an atom. Uh, that was that was pretty pathetic, but yeah, um, yeah, one eighth, and so on. Um, and then you got your middle atom, which was was one whole atom, yeah, and that's all touched. Yeah, so the number is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight eighths, which is one plus one, two. So two atoms that we have. Um, the atomic mass was, um, as I said. 55.845 yeah. um, and yeah uh, the radius let's um, okay so um, that's the NA up on the top so yeah theoretical density so NA not, not that N let's be writing the formula NA over um, BC let's see what so um, this Na top, that's just multiplying these two together. So that's just 2 times 55.845. Okay, now we need to figure out our volume of cell, and uh, Avogadro's number is already given. So that's 0 0.0. Actually, no way. I'll give myself a little bit more space. Yeah. Um, and we still have the volume of the cell to figure out. So that that's that's a bit of a tedious part. So uh, the volume of cell. So um, remember we were dealing with a BCC, um, and from my previous video I explained um, how um, that is going to be four uh, on root three. Ah, right, um, cubed. So that's a cubed. So that's a the whole thing there. That's a. So a a was like the side length of the cube. Yeah, so this is the side length cubed, and then so subbing in, we got that. Um, and then we just plug it in. So in our case, that's just 64 on 3 root 3. Um, and then R in our case was, um, yeah, 126 picometers. So that's 126. Now you got to convert from picometers to meters, right? So that was actually times 10 to the negative 10. Also Google the conversion factor, but yeah. Um, again, generally you, you're dealt with in nanometers, and so nanometers is times 10 to the 9, negative 9, sorry. Um, so that makes things uh, a bit easier because it's times 10 to the negative 9 to negative 2. So you think about as, um, so converting between the two, that's going to be to the negative 7. But in our case, it's negative 10 um, to convert between pico and centimeters. Anyway, um, so going from here, we just plug that, that volume of cell. 64 on 3 root 3, and then that's uh, 126 times 10 to the negative 10 all cubed. Plug, 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 chug, 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 get that uh, theoretical density, right? Theoretical, yeah, D, cool, yeah. Um, that theoretical density should come out to be 7.527. That's what I got like plugging into a calculator. Uh, and the real density, just for your reference, happens to be pretty close. It's seven point eight seven four. This is this is grams per centimeter, but yeah. So it's it's pretty close, sort of. Um, 
uh, calculating other theoretical densities and comparing them, you get pretty close answers as well. So yeah, that's that's about it.